Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day today. So today I'm going to be doing a style with my hot airbrush. A lot of you have these hot airbrushes now and I think I just need to uh, show more styles that I do. Um, and I think um, today I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to blow dry my the sides straight down um, and then put a lot of body in the top here probably going back um, I've been doing that the last several days do you guys get into these weird um, pixie cut styles where you're like oh I'm gonna do the same thing every day for five days and then you get on another roll so that's what I've been doing the last several days I really like it and I want to share it with you I guess before I get started <laughs> Let me tell you about my, um, the last 10 days of my life has been super crazy. Um, <clears throat> what has happened is that, I don't remember if I told you guys this, but that I was going to Kansas City to watch um, the, not the championship game, but the divisional game. And that was um, really, really fun. Um, uh, the Chiefs actually won, and then they won yesterday. If you're a football fan, I'm sure there's not a lot of football fans on my channel, but um, and there's people that live in Europe that are on my ch that are subs on my channel, so you guys might might not um, follow the news. But basically, the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl, which is extremely exciting. Um, hasn't happened for 50 years, and so yeah, so I went on that trip to Kansas City. And then I flew out of Kansas City down to Dallas and I had a week um, in Dallas at work um, with a lot of meetings and stuff. So I have been extremely busy and I just got back home on Friday. So that's why I didn't do a video this last weekend. You'll, you'll be watching this this next weekend. Today is Monday, Martin Luther King Day. And um, I actually have today off, so filming a couple videos. Anyway, um, so I am going to get started with this hot airbrush. So let me talk to you a little bit about it uh, before I start uh, blow drying my hair. Um, the beauty of these things are that you, you're taking two steps and putting it in one. Usually you would blow dry your hair and then if you did want to put any kind of curl in your hair, you have to do that with a separate tool. This is nice because it's one tool. You get the air coming through the barrel here. It comes through here, comes through the barrel, and there is a metal, let's see if you can see that. Um, the barrel actually is metal, um, so it does heat up your hair and can put a curl in. I, I can tell you that it's a, a gentle curl. It's not like super curly or anything um you can certainly curl or keep twisting around at the same spot and get more of a curl um so if you're looking for super curly hair this is not your your tool um but this tool um is great if you're kind of in a rush you've washed your hair you want to quickly style it um and it's just it's a real time saver i can i can say that um Anyways, this is the Jinri uh, brand. I did buy this on Amazon. Um, when I did my first video on the Jinri, um, it sold out a couple times, but since then they've restocked um, it. So um, I will link uh, to the most recent uh, version that's on Amazon right now, which is the same one. Um, but you have to be careful when you're buying because sometimes you might not know that you're buying the bigger barrel and for you, for those of you that have short hair um you need a smaller barrel so i was looking for the smallest barrel on the market smallest one on the market is this one um although hot hair brushes are a hot thing right now <laughs> um so i wouldn't be surprised if there are others out there that were just as small of a barrel as this and were just as good. So I'm not just attached to this version, it's just that this particular tool, this particular brand is the only one I have. So I have heard a lot of um, other brands that people are buying now, so I would just say, hey, whatever brand you get, you can still do the same things with it. 
um, and I'm not tied to one brand or another, but I do really like this brush. So before I uh, get started, I'm gonna spray, whoops, I'm gonna spray a uh, leave-in conditioner on my hair. Um, I haven't used this much. This is the Cake, um, the main manager. Um, obviously, people like leave-in conditioners, especially for long hair because you don't get tangles and stuff, but I really like a leave-in conditioner because it can, um, I don't know, feel like I have some kind of protection on my hair. So I'm just gonna, comes out weird. It comes out a little bit thick, but I'm just gonna spray a little bit on there. And I got some all over my shirt. Um, and then just kind of, you don't want to put too much on. Um, but I'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair here and just get it, get the product distributed. Okay. <clears throat> so, Let's get started with this brush. Um, I'm going to get a comb here. What I'd like to do um, is kind of put a part on either side right here. And you can do it even further down if you want to, like right here. and right here. And that's what I'm gonna work on first, is I'm gonna work on, um, I don't know how long your sides are, um, but my sides are usually fairly short. In the summer, I'll even go shorter on the sides, but uh, what I'd like to do is kind of um, dry the sides, slick down, and then I'll work on the top here. Here it goes. All right, so my sides are dry. Uh, my back, the back of my hair is still a little bit damp. Um, I am now going to do the top. Okay, so what I'd like to do is going kind of back to the side this way. Um, here's the trick I'm gonna show you. So if you get a hot airbrush, get one that has the swivel cord. The beauty of the swivel cord is that when you are drying, you can just twirl it like this and then your cord doesn't get all bunched up. That's awesome. That's one of my favorite parts of this brush. So, I, first of all, my hair feels amazing. I don't know if it was, I did a couple different things. Um, I did take a bath right before this, or a shower, I'm sorry. And I put a um, hair mask on. My son gave me a bunch of hair masks um, that came from Walmart. Um, let me show you what brand I got. Okay. So anyway, like I said, my son gave me a bunch of hair masks for Christmas and they like come in packs like this. And the one I just used was um, this one, NYC Dreams, um, Sweet Escape by Hask. And um, my hair 
feels amazing. Feels really soft. Um, I think it's a good idea, especially if you are like me in that you color your hair um, frequently. Um, you need to give your hair a little TLC sometimes. So anyway, I put a hair mask on, left it on for about, I would say 10 minutes. And, um, and then of course I used this cake, but my hair feels very, um, soft and, um, just different than normal. So the hot airbrush, um, I think did a really good job today. It did. I did exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do these sides going down. Um, I wanted to do my hair kind of going back like this. And, um, I also like this part where I put it kind of under right here. Um, now all we have left to do is put a little product in to style this. And I want to be a little funky today. So let's put a little pizzazz in this hairdo. So this is the Kenra Platinum Texturizing Taffy. And I've used this a couple different times. Really, really sticky. It kind of looks like purple bubble gum. Um, or taffy. It actually looks like taffy, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to get about that much. Not You just you don't want to get too much because, um, as you all know, um, too much product in your hair can leave your hair feeling really gross. And I don't want it to be that way. But I'm not going to just pile it on like this. I'm going to put it in my hands. And, of course, you're going to have to rub your hands after this. But really rub your hands together so that it's kind of covering the palms of your hands. And now, just don't worry about how it looks too much. You just really want to get it in your hair so that you can start messing with it and styling it. So right now, I'm just distributing all that taffy in there. And I don't wash my hands quite yet. I, I will work with my hair until I'm happy with it and ready to spray, and then I'll wash my hands. So. This is where you can really get some height with your hair. And I still want the sides to be kind of slicked down, but I want the top to be fun. That was actually a really quick do. I think I've only been talking for about 10 minutes. So um, I think, um, like I said, the beauty of a hot airbrush is a very quick style and uh, it does leave your hair soft. I'm not saying that it's, it was just the hair mask. Um, every time I have used the hot airbrush, I do feel like it's really easy to style afterwards. So, um, Something weird going on right here. Sometimes you just have to do a quick, uh, some little touch ups if you're not happy with how your hair is going. So I'm just gonna put a little more taffy right at the edge here. The other thing that I always have trouble doing is making height in the back so that it looks good from behind. All right, I think we are about ready to spray this. All right, I'm gonna do a quick spray with my Kenra Medium Hairspray, Perfect Medium Spray number 13.
Let me show you the sides. And the back. All right, well, I would love to hear your comments about how you use your hot airbrush um, on your Pixie. Or if you don't have a Pixie, how do you use your hot airbrush if you have one? Um, I love reading all the comments that you guys um, um, do make. So if you ever feel like, oh, I don't know if I should comment, feel free to comment. I love reading them. I try to reply to almost everyone, um, depending on the time, but I'm pretty good about replying. So, um, yeah, if you, uh, if you want to comment, please feel free to comment. I, I absolutely love having conversations with my subscribers. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Love to have you as a sub. And um, I have lots of plans for 2020 and putting out a lot of videos. So keep watching and I'll keep putting videos out as I have time. Um, my goal is once a week right now. Um, I might go up to twice a week depending on um, my availability. But um, right now I I'm going to try to do a minimum of once a week videoing. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.